The summer is winding down, the major trade shows are all packed away, and the dust has finally settled on next year's new bike launches. So which bikes are going to be flying off the showroom floors and down a trail near you in 2020? Here's our pick of the hottest new enduro models. When Specialized launched the first Enduro 2.9 back in 2013, it was so far ahead of the curve it made the rest of the industry look like a bunch of flat earthers struggling to see beyond the wheel size horizon. The latest Enduro 2.9 takes its design cues from the new Demo 2.9 downhill bike, a wholesale change that sees Specialized move away from the long-standing X-Wing top tube and high shock position to a low slung design with the shock just above the BB. There's a more consistent leverage rate as a result and Specialized has increased the anti-rise to keep the geometry more stable under braking and help stop the back tyre from buzzing your shorts. The new Enduro will be available in four models, all with 29 inch wheels and carbon frames. There's also a frame only option and with 170mm travel front and rear, it's the longest travel Enduro to date. Giant has finally wheeled out a 29 inch version of its acclaimed Rain Enduro bike and it sure looks stunning in this beautiful gloss chameleon paint. While its looks are not in short supply, Giant has pegged back the travel to only 146mm, much less than its latest rivals. This has been done in an effort to keep the chainstay short as well as rein in the shock length to allow for a longer dropper post. Both worthy reasons we'll have to wait until we do a full test to see if its lack of travel means it's off the back on the descents compared to its rivals. Brought to you by the folks behind Hunt Wheels, this new Enduro frame is designed to offer top-end performance at an affordable price. Offering 160mm of travel and running 29-inch wheels, it will be sold as a frame only to begin with at a target price of £1200 with a shock. To hit that goal, the privateer designers have been clever using cheaper off-the-shelf alloy tubes instead of more expensive and exclusive closed mould versions. While the money saved has been ploughed into crucial areas such as the bottom bracket and linkage forgings. The size and geometry is properly progressive too, so it should open up the benefits of going longer and slacker to a much wider audience. New Zealand brand Zero has always done things a bit differently and its new Katipo is no different in that regard. Ok so combining 29 inch wheels with 160mm of travel and a sculpted carbon frame might be run of the mill, but how many other brands then bolt on a pinion gearbox to favourably influence the ratio between sprung and unsprung mass? Not many is the answer. The pinion gearbox doesn't just allow the suspension to work more effectively, it also reduces maintenance, permits a stronger rear wheel and keeps the back end slim and less prone to damage. It also boasts a 600% gear range and you can shift without pedalling, but there are downsides. Namely extra drag, you can't change gear under load and the twist grip shifter is far from ergonomic. With its big brace supporting the top and down tubes and a headline grabbing 180mm of travel, the Rocky Mountain Slayer looks like a total Hellraiser. It's available in both wheel sizes, though the 29 inch model drops 10mm of wheel travel. Despite being brand new and wielding so much travel, the geometry doesn't really push the boundaries as there's only a 64 degree head angle and 500mm reach on the XL frame. However, the seat tube is genuinely steep at around 76 degrees, so it should climb pretty good even with all that travel, and the Ride 9 chip gives you four different geometry configurations. <laughs>